today we are going to discuss uh, about oracle forms so basically uh, let's go through the topics that we will be covering so first it's uh, creating data block and simple form the next is triggers next alerts editors lov record group master detail form menu visual attribute and property class program units and then finally pl sql library so these are the topics that we will be covering first an overview of oracle forms so what is oracle forms oracle forms is a rapid application development tool with which you can rapidly de develop application based on the database oracle form is a product of oracle corporation and uh, the current version is oracle forms 12c uh, however we will be using oracle forms 11g the earlier version which is the most stable version as of now so that's about an overview of oracle forms as you all know a database uh, consists of uh, tables and a table consists of rows and columns so data is stored in tables in oracle database and oracle is an rdbms that is relational database management system so the tables are related to one another through relationship and these relationships are known as foreign keys primary keys and through foreign key primary key the relationship between the tables are established so that is why oracle is known as a relational database management system oracle forms run on top of oracle database so it internally connects with oracle database and fetches the data from the oracle table stored in the oracle database so we'll see how this comes into action when we start our training session so first let us bring up let us bring up the environment and then we will start with the topics so first uh, we'll have to bring up the environment so first we'll have to bring up the database so i go to services so this this is my service so i will start the service it will take up a couple of minutes So it's still starting up. is started now so let's start the listener okay the listener is also started now i will have to bring up the pluggable database okay so i go to dos form then i set up the environment then i connect to Okay. 
Opening the plug with the is a small term. Now let's connect to the Oracle database. So the schema is HR has to be well. So it's connected. So in the in this schema, in the HR schema, we have the HR table. So if we go to the tables, we have these are the tables, country, customer, employee, department, job, location, region. So these are the tables. So if we go to employees, if we go to employees, the so query data. So these are the employees. Here you see department ID. This is a foreign key. Which Points to the primary key of the department table. So department 90 is actually executive. Department name is executive. So this department 90, if you see, has been referenced in a foreign key in employee's table. This department 90. So it's a foreign key. So this is how the relationship between the tables are maintained in an Oracle database, which is an RDBMS. Okay, now, now let's, uh, let's bring up the form environment. Okay. Okay, so let's start the PMD window. Okay, so form builder will start now. So our form builder is up and running. So this this is how the form builder looks. And we have this module, then trigger, alert, status libraries, data blocks, canvas, editors, events, LOVs, object group, parameters, pop up image, programming, property class, record group, reports, and visual attributes. And we also have a window, we have menu, we have the library. So these are the different components of Oracle Form Builder. But before we start developing Oracle Form, we first need to connect to the database. So, yeah, connect. We have to give the database detail. Okay, now it's connected. So now, now the now let's go back to the first topic, creating data block and simple form. Data block is a building block of Oracle form. Uh, let's change this name to And data blocks are of two types. One is a control block, which is not based on a base table. And one is a normal data block, which is based on base table block, which is based on a base table in Oracle data. So we are going to create a base table block. So highlight data block, create 
to create use the weblog wizard okay next tabular view then we have to click browse just click on department table then always we have to select departments okay okay New canvas, it's talking about the canvas on which the data block will be displayed. So we want all the fields. So this is fine, this uh, uh, default from the database, and this is format as default the name. Next, we want it in a form. In a form, there are two ways form and tabular. We want it in a form. Layout and then next, then title. Let's say we put departments. Departments. Next, finish. Let's see the date for today. Today is 15. Today is 14 September. Saturday. Today is actually Sunday. It's Sunday. So it's to be 15. We'll save all our files in this directory. So okay, so the form is now created. So let's go back to the object navigator. So in the object navigator, you can see this is the department, this is the data block, these are the items of the data block, and this is the canvas where the data block is created. If you click on this, you know, you see this is the layout of the form. So this this is a simple form. Best to build form. Now let's run this form. Okay, I need to start the web logic server. Asking for the password. So it started in running mode. So we are fine now. Now let's run this form. Okay. 
so this is the department form this is in window one now if we want to query if you want to execute queries this, this is the execute query so you see all the departments are here you can add a new department if we go to the last record it's department 90 So if we add a new department, record the uh, insert new department hundred department name test PC PC manager IT industry technology business seven. We can save this record. So the department hundred is already there. Yeah, department hundred is already there. So we have to select the department which is not there. Hundred twenty one, less hundred twenty two, hundred twenty four. This add a department three hundred. Let's add department three hundred. Three hundred and take this record. Yeah, one record applied and saved. So, so you can update a department, you can insert a department, you can also update a department like this. If you can say testing, testing, and testing, save it. So it's saved. So you can insert, update, or you can also delete the department. So you can also delete a department record remove to remove that department is removed now you say transaction complete one record applied and so so this is how we create a simple form so now in the form window let's save our form Fifteen September two thousand and So we have saved our form. And we have created a form. Now maybe we need to we we can add a data block. We can add a data block, which is a control block. So let's add a data block. This is the users. Yes. It won't, wow. it won't allow me to add like that. Cancel this. Add a data block. Build a data block manually. Now we name this data block. We name this data block as Control block. Yeah. And in the items, let's let, let's add an item. Property palette name this play item. It's a display item. And let's make it a display item and source this is not a database item so this should be no
so that's it we have created a display item here now let's go to the canvas this control block if we go to the property palette go to the property palette property palette mm. that should be a canvas property Maybe not in the blog. Maybe in the item, display item, property color. The canvas now is null, so let's select our canvas for that. Now, if we go to the canvas, if we go to the canvas. So this is the display item. So. We can bring it down here and make it bigger. Okay, save this. Go back to the object navigator. Now let's write a trigger. We'll come to trigger later, but uh, in new form instance, let's write a trigger. So long. Play item colon equal to form training. Okay. Now let's let do form training. Play item. Okay, so we are giving a value to this display item when the when the form is changed. That is, when the form runs, we are giving a value to the display. Now, so run this. Control block the display item is not able to find control block display item. Display item is in control block. What is the problem? When new form instance trigger. No.
Okay, there was some spelling mistake that why it was giving error. So now this play I can do that fine now. So now let's uh, run this form. Let's run this form. So you see, this is a control block. It is not defined to the data mistake. So we have populated it with forms training in the when new form instance trigger so that's why forms training is appearing in the display item. and this is a display item not a text item okay so one thing to know is item what are the different types of items if you want to see the property palette these are the different types of items you can create. Be maybe a text box, display item, arrow text, image, list item, push button, radio button, text item, user radio, activate function, this is obsolete chart item, obsolete relay controller, obsolete sound, obsolete DVS control, obsolete. So these are the different types of items you can create in the form. Okay, that's about the first chapter, creating data blocks and simple form. We have done this. So, we'll meet next for the next chapter. Thank you.